Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. I'm still getting used to saying that. We recently changed our name from Coffee with Coaches to Conversations because while coffee is typically a morning drink, I tend to drink it throughout the day, but Conversations with Coaches is a little bit more literal-minded, which I find myself getting in my old age. Anyway, welcome to Conversations with Coaches. Um, I'm your host. Thanks for having me. I'm a, oh, what's that? I said, thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm about to talk to G uh, Dean Gyllenhaal. Dean is a master certified executive coach who is growing leaders, building cultures, and driving results. Intelligent Leadership Executive Coaching, ILEC for short, is a global leader and the world's number one authority for the intelligent leadership coaching methodology, which we're going to get to talk about and a whole lot more in the next 10 or 15 minutes. So Dean, again, thank you so much for being here. I'm so, I'm so glad we get a chance to talk. Great, great. Thank you. So let's let's go ahead and start at the beginning. And you can go back as far as you'd like. I mean, you don't have to go back to like when you were a toddler. But when did you realize or begin the real the true process of becoming a coach? And then how did you go from that realization into starting your own coaching practice? Yeah, sure. So after 30 years of succeeding in investment management, I got to a point where I decided I could actually play a different back nine in my career. Time to do something more meaningful. I spent months researching, networking to find a more fulfilling endeavor. And then I met up with John Matone and his team along the way. You know, so for 12, the last 12 years of my career in investment management, I managed high performing teams, I was happy to participate myself in a lot of workshops, assessments, management training, best execution training. And I found value in that for my own personal career. So having been through that on the other side really helped develop a catalyst for me to jump into the space. I like that framework of, uh, it's a phrase I've, I've heard periodically throughout my life, the back nine, when people are just thinking about like what the second half of their life is going to be like. I've always really liked that because like I'm as a, as a sometimes sort of a waxing and waning golf fan, like, you know, I'll watch the majors here and there. I used to play yeah, a lot right. when I was a little bit younger and had a better back, <laughs> but I love I love the analogy of the back nine because some of if you if you if you're familiar with golf at all some of the greatest golf that has ever occurred occurs on the back nine. The back nine is not the downhill slope. It's not the tail end. It's sometimes where careers legacies are made. And so I really I do really like that analogy for finding the next thing, the new thing that's, that's going right. to define and bring joy to your life for however much longer life here goes on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was lucky to be in a good spot and uh, I took advantage of partnering up with John Matone and team. So let's go ahead and bring things up to the present. Let's talk a little bit more about that partnership and what you do today. So I like to, I like to ask this question in a particular way. I feel like it gets, it gives you the most off ramps to talk about your coaching, the nuts and bolts of your coaching practice. So who do you coach and how do you coach them? The who being basically who you kind of target where, like where they might be at in their per personal or professional lives and the how being primarily one-to-one. -one. Do you do group coaching? Do you have other coaches who work with you or around you that you can kind of work with to coach somebody? Do you coach larger teams? Is it executives down? Basically like who and how? Sure. Basically in a, one sentence summary, it's all of the above. So the IOLC model is it's a proven and proprietary system and methodology. Uh, the focus is really on leaders and emerging leaders to accept that they can take themselves to a higher level, their companies and their employees. The methodology itself is agnostic to industry. So the program has been used worldwide uh, with some very known, very well-known CEOs. You know, there's plenty of coaching offerings out there for lots of different organizations. Hmm. ILEC, uh, like I said, it's we can customize a program for one-to-one, one-to-group cultural workshops. So it's very flexible in terms of who, who gets coaching. It's a flexible in terms of time period whether it's six, nine, 12 months or 14 weeks, depending on what a company's budget is. So yeah, it's, it's uh, really interesting. I mean, it's ILEC's proprietary models. So I'm, I'm backed by, to answer your other question, I'm backed by a, the organization itself. There's actually a coaches coach that helps all the ILEC coaches, you know, structure their, their engagements. So it's a really in-depth, flexible model. I love the way you said that right there, in-depth and flexible, because that's something I find to be so, so not common, but so prevalent amongst all the most successful coaching coaches and coaching programs is that they are, they have these tested models 
that are really like almost well engineered, specifically based on like, you know, decades and decades and decades of experience. And they're also very flexible and very adaptable to meet the individual needs of the individual or the the company that they that they're working with and for. And I just I love that it's not either or, it's both and with all the best right. coaching. That's right. That's right. And if you think about it, leadership, it doesn't matter, you know, where if you're in sports, if you're at home, at your whatever company you work for, the concepts, you know, to build a leader to make them better, you know, apply across all all avenues. They really do. And the call to leadership. Really, it's it's not just in one area of your life. Leadership is something that every aspect of your life calls to you with with a need for leadership. Like, I mean, I mean, I know it sounds mundane and almost like tongue in cheek, but like you could be in the grocery store, and you know, your your choice to you know smile at the cashier is one of those moments where you just like you just decide that you're going to put out more than you're taking. You know, you're going to set the tone and, and do things that you feel like are in service of those around you. And that's a, that's a really tiny example. That's more of like a kindness example than a leadership example. But I think about it even down at that granular level, all the way up to the bigger right. picture stuff. That's right. Totally applicable across all, all avenues of life. And, you know, even people that are current leaders, the best clients are those leaders that recognize like, I've been a leader for a while, but you know what? Maybe I could take it to the next step, you know? I've come to a point where, you know what, let me build my legacy going forward and people need help with that. And that's what our, what we do as IOC coaches is take those leaders that are vulnerable, understanding that they can improve more, even though they've been there for a long time and help them, help them get to the next level. And on the flip side of that, you might have some employee, doesn't matter what job, really, really good at their job, well-educated and are plopped into a leadership position they may never have any formal leadership training. You know, that's another great client, right? So there's a lot of that. Think of about, think of a large construction company whose son just graduated from graduate school, has worked for the company for a couple of years, and the father or grandfather wants to move that person along within the company. That's yeah. where I come in. Uh, that's, uh, those are really, two really good, I'm not, I was not going to call them polar opposites, but I love the successful but never satisfied leader the one who always who understands like in their heart of hearts that they can be a good leader and always strive to be better and that's that's, that's that's sort of an intrinsic attribute of great leadership and then there's the one who people who are they're skilled they're talented they've got the tools and the training maybe they even have like the natural disposition for it but they've never really been put in that position of leadership and therefore they've never been they've never had to ask themselves those questions in that way before and so right. you have someone come in it's like you know you can just learn on the job so many people just kind of like quote unquote figure it out but really and this i think more and more people are realizing this every okay. single day that there, you don't just have to muddle your way through. Just like you can go to school for training in certain particular skills, crafts, abilities, whatever it might happen to be, you can learn how to become a better leader. You can, that's right. and, that, and that's where coaching really comes in and great coaching like yours is quite frankly invaluable. Right, that's right. And people hire coaches for exercise, people hire co life coaches. So yeah. there's always something that needs to be coached. So if you have an organization and a uh, emerging leader within that organization that recognizes that that's going to be helpful. That's a great client for me. A coach for all seasons. <laughs> all seasons, all reasons. <laughs> I love it. Where can people find out more about you individually and also more about the ILEC? Sure. My, I do have a website, but it, it's best to reach me via email and I'll spell it out for you. So if you have a pen and piece of piece of paper, it's uh, D G Y L L E N. H A A L D Jillen Hall at intelligent leadership ec.com. So the EC right before dot com stands for executive coaching. So D Jillen okay. Hall at intelligent leadership ec.com. That's probably the quickest way to get there. Okay. I'll put that in the show notes too. Okay. Because yes, yeah, <laughs> Jillen Hall is a not a common name, but obviously you've got like the famous actors who have that name, but like it's one that it's, it's much easier to say than it is to spell. So <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. And also you have a, you have a presence on LinkedIn where people can find out more about you as well. I find that, I think that's, that's where right. we encountered each other for the first time, which is, yep. I just, I love the, the power of that platform. It's so, it, it lines up so nicely with all of the principles and practices of coaching. It's like, it's a, it's a relationship platform. It's great for connection on the surface level. You can go a little bit deeper. You can get to know more about someone professionally as well as a little bit personally. And then like, 
I just, yeah, I find that it's a very, a very strong platform for whether you're a coach or you're exploring finding a coach, hiring a coach. It's a really good place to get to know somebody right. so you can build that trust relationship. Yeah. And then, and that's, you just said it perfectly. It's the, it's the trust. It's, you know, if you're thinking of hiring a coach besides trust, you know, the ease of communication, do you get along with the person, you know, and of course you under, need to understand the methodology and the model that you're, you're engaging with. Which, which can vary, but, you know, again, the Matone global model, proprietary, well-known, been used for over 50 CEOs around the world. So it's a proven methodology. I love it. The proof is in the pudding, for some reason, is an old phrase that just that popped up into my head. I don't think that that's applies right, directly right. to anything that we talked about today, but proven, proven is something that I think a lot of people, it, it helps them begin those first couple of steps on their journey towards trusting a coach is they just they want a little bit of certainty not because they need things to be solid where they're about because they're about to step obviously people who are reaching out for coaching they're about to step into something that might be a little uncertain that's why they're looking for help and having just that, that proven methodology where it's like i can look at a bunch of tremendously successful people who directly cite you know what i did this it worked for me. Here's how it's like, Oh, well, let me, let me find out yeah. more about that. And you can just, the information is there. And so you can begin that trust journey by yourself, meet someone like you go a little bit further along, get a little bit deeper. And then from there, the sky's the limit. That's right. That's right. Great coaching process is for leaders who want to up their game and crystallize their legacy. Perfect. I think that's the perfect place to end it. Crystallize their legacy. I like that phrase. That's beautiful. Dean, thank you so much for being here today. I know I, I, oh, I really awesome. appreciate your time. This has been this has been awesome. kind of fun. I could I feel like I could keep you for longer, but today is a Tuesday when we're recording and there's always so much more to do. So thank you so much for being here. I, I appreciate it. So will you send me uh, your final cut or how does that work? Oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, let me go ahead and wrap the recording and I'll I'll hit stop on the record and then we'll talk about what happens after. And we'll Sorry. Okay. clip this part out. No, it's totally okay. <laughs> thank you for listening and maybe watching. Actually, I think just listening. I think we just have audiograms on YouTube. But thank you for listening to the Conversations with the Coaches podcast. Find out more about Dean. Find out more about the ILEC. Really fascinating model. Really interesting. Even if you're not necessarily looking for coaching right now, it's at the very least interesting. And quite frankly, it could probably help you out. So check them out. If you have any questions, email them in the show notes. And we'll talk to you again soon.